The addition of the F-35s allows Tyndall to go from a training base to an active combat base. Tyndall will be getting pilots from other facilities who have already learned to fly the F-35s. They will get additional training here. So not only is it a ton of fun to fly, and it's obviously relevant because it's the newest, greatest thing there right, out right now, uh, but it's also extremely capable if we do need to go to combat. The F-22s that Tyndall pilots were flying have been transferred up to Langley Air Force Base, Virginia. Tyndall is planning on acquiring 75 more F-35s over the next two years. There will eventually be three different squadrons of 24 jets with six extras. With these new jets, Tyndall's going to need a lot more personnel. We will have more airmen than we ever had. So uh, we expect to have three full F-35 squadrons when this is done, plus a fourth squadron of we're not sure exactly what yet. So this will, this will mean far more airmen, far more, uh, by the way, civilians as well. The stealth aircraft will not only have an impact on Tyndall, but on the Bay County community as well. Oh, it's, it, I, I don't actually have a figure other than tens of billions of dollars of economic activity occurs in the state of Florida because of a base like this. It's a, a happy moment not only for the base, again, for all of the communities surrounding us. Colonel George Watkins says he's grateful to the community for getting Tyndall to where it is today. Our, our base wouldn't still be here without some of our community leadership uh, um, uh, speaking up and saying, hey, we really want to keep the base here. Um, and, uh, and so that felt really special to me.